Yo, what is up? My name is Matt Workman and we're back in the mocap studio and today I'm gonna record a couple loops for Cinetracer 2 but this time I'm gonna try a slightly different workflow. People were suggesting that I try retargeting directly from Vicon to MetaHuman just using Unreal Engine 5.4 using the new IK retargeter and like the auto retargeter and maybe the modular control rig. There's a lot of new tech in Unreal Engine 5.4 and today we're gonna check it out. So here's a clip from the recording, um, really basic stuff going on today. And you'll see on the right that the blue Vicon skeleton, um, this solve is like always good and it's actually scaled to my body. So that's kind of why like body contact, foot contact, everything goes so well. Um, so that is like Vicon's like core um, thing that they're delivering. And it's always been like extra in my opinion that Shogun Post could then do all the retargeting to different skeletons. And it is really, really good. I've been using it uh, a lot. Uh, but specifically for MetaHumans, uh, we have a new workflow. We're going to be trying that out uh, in just a bit. Okay, so that was the magical performance. Didn't even actually talk this time. Just doing some gestures while standing and then kind of walked in a circle just to look at some feet contact and that sort of thing. Also talking to myself. So going to go into Shogun and do some Vicon stuff and then try to get it to Unreal Engine 5 and do some Unreal Engine 5 metahuman stuff. Let's go. So we're in Shogun Post here and we're looking at the raw uh, solving skeleton uh, that we were watching during the, during the take. And the difference today is we're only going to take this Vicon skeleton animation and we're going to bring that directly into Unreal Engine. It's the first time for me. We'll see how it goes. So before I get into the Unreal Engine side of things here, I just want to shout out PixelProf. Uh, this is the YouTube series that I followed to get the basics of how to use uh, the Unreal Engine IK retargeting system and specifically how to get it from Vicon onto the mannequin, onto different uh, Paragon characters here. And then I kind of took what I learned from his series and applied that to MetaHumans and MetaHuman Fingers and more stuff that keeps coming up uh, as this process goes on, but go check out Nick's YouTube channel if you want to learn this in detail. So this is my MetaHuman uh, motion capture project called MetaHuman, it's 5.4.2. And you'll see that we have the Vicon skeleton here. So to start here, we actually imported the skeleton from Vicon, it's called Vicon Actor Fingers. Uh, this is the new avatar from Vicon and very important that you take the one with finger bones if you want to do finger tracking and finger retargeting. So after bringing in the skeleton, uh, what we're going to do is right click and you would have created a IK rig here. And that is this. So, And so what this process looks like here is basically going and selecting things like spine, all these spines here. And you need to, it looks overwhelming because I've done all of them here, but it starts empty. And then you would right click this and say create new retarget chain. And you're basically creating IK chains um, for the spine, the head and neck, the clavicles, the arms, the fingers, the metacarpals, and the legs. So it looks like a big list at first, but it's not too many, especially if you skip the fingers the first time. So after creating the IK rig, you can then create an IK retargeter, and that is what you need to do the actual retargeting. So I'm going to open up the one that I've made here. It's a little heavy. Okay, so here we are in our IK retargeter. There's a lot of stuff. It looks kind of overwhelming, but um, the first thing you set up is that we're going from the IK rig from the Vicon skeleton that we just made uh, to the IK rig for the MetaHuman, which they have given to us for free. We already have this, um, unless you want to go edit it, uh, you get this for free already with MetaHumans. And importantly, you need to make sure that you're using... Um, the size metahuman you want to retarget this to, in my case, male tall normal, which is the same as the UE5 mannequin, basically. Uh, the first phase of this, uh, I'm gonna put these back together like this, is they're, they're on top of each other. And right now uh, we're in running retarget. What we'd wanna do is do edit retarget pose. And so if you've ever done any retargeting, this is like the dreaded part. And I actually have a better metahuman with a head attached. I just didn't use it for this. I so would definitely be helpful. Uh, but the goal is to basically make the source skeleton, which is our Vicon skeleton, we look at its pose and we want to make our target skeleton, which is our metahuman, we want to match those poses. So you should go watch Nick's videos if you want to see that process. I might do it myself from scratch to kind of document it, but the metahumans come in an A pose and their, their hands are different. Like I talked a little bit about the bone structure difference between that. There's height discrepancies, 
but you're basically going to go through and change this target pose here by selecting like, um, let's see, like the upper arm or something. Uh, we'll see that we have it at a 45 degree angle, but it would have come in like this and we're going to go like adjust it until it matches. Uh, what's cool is that like this doesn't require baking to test it like it would in, um, actually it, it would, it, there is some baking in Vicon Shogun too, but it's pretty fast, but this is even faster and you can run this retargeter in uh, real time later. So if I wanted to take Vicon live into here, I could then use this and get a good metahuman retarget. This is new in 5.4 how this is set up um, for one. So I'm going to offset the uh, target skeleton, which is the metahuman without a head. It's not a great example here. Um, but what you can do here is kind of watch. See, this is all like tuned up perfectly now, but um, if you go through and you find issues and you're like, oh, the shoulders are too high or like the knees are snapping like we have right there and the fingers aren't working, uh, what you can do is you can swap between uh, this kind of like live retarget view um, and it processes like instantly. It's really fast. And then you can go back to edit retarget pose and kind of make the tweaks that you want and then immediately go back. I hate that it starts playing actually automatically. I wish it wouldn't do that. Um, and you, it's this back and forth process of moving the um, bones in the editing uh, retarget pose, just like tweak, tweak, tweak. It really depends on what you're, what you're trying to match for. In my case, I was going for fingers today. And then you go right back and you can see the results. You're like, ah, oh, cool, that's horrible. <laughs> Didn't work. And there's a lot that goes into it. I'm sure I barely just, you know, I'm just like scratching the surface and there's like all this other tech stuff that I don't quite understand yet. But the end results are quite good and let's check those out. So this is the end result from the first day where I was doing, uh, experimenting with the IK retargeter and we're getting like really good results. Uh, looking at the neck, looking at the shoulders. If you watch my other video, I usually had to adjust that quite a bit. And this is a peek at like a day ago's IK retargeting rig, I've since improved it, uh, but the results were still pretty good here. And we're gonna take the rig for a walk here. So most of my tests now are gonna include the Vicon skeleton in the middle, uh, which is always good. That's Vicon side of it. And now using uh, Unreal Engine 5's IK retargeter, we're in like a great place getting this onto the Mandahuman like you can see here. This was suggested online to test uh, body contact. So hand to hips, hand to head, and this is going like incredibly well. On top of that, um, I spent the day working on the IK retarget to clean it up a little bit, worked on the fingers, worked on some other settings that I learned about, and we are getting great results. The hands, there's a big difference between a Vicon and a metahuman hand, but I did the best that I could, and I think it's certainly usable and could be cleaned up later. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, moral of the story is Unreal Engine 5.4's IK retargeter is really good.